today is Monday, February 27th, and this is the very first post to the Expat Chronicles. I think I just like forgot the name for a second. <laughs> My name is Nicole and my current location is Paris. I am American. I lived all over the United States. I'm a month away from my 24th birthday making me the resident like senior citizen. That's why I've got my awesome grandma sweater by sequin, sequin grandma sweater because it's great. It's because I'm classy. I am abroad going to graduate school here in Paris at the American University of Paris. I chose to come to Paris mostly for this particular program. I had spent a lot of time Google searching basically graduate school abroad. This one was the one that kind of struck me as the best fit. So I came more for my program than for Paris specifically. My favorite I I love all the words. Is Can I say that? No, I can't say that. That's cheating. Wanderlust. I'm a big fan of the word wanderlust. I think that's a cool word. I think that every professor who had to read my undergraduate papers would probably tell you that my favorite word is amalgamate. I'm sure that it's in probably every single paper that I wrote as an undergraduate student. I I don't know. Amalgamate. It's a great word. My favorite word in another language. I did my undergraduate semester abroad in Ghana. We took Franti classes. I am going to completely butcher the pronunciation of this. This is actually really more of a phrase than a word specifically, but um, believe it's Medzi Mfro, Mfre, Mfre. I'm going back to Ghana actually for my spring break and leaving in a couple days so while I'm there I'm gonna have someone tell me how to pronounce this properly and I will report back with the correct pronunciation of this because it's been a few years. The translation, the reason I like it so much is it's how you say how old you are and the like, literal translation is I have eaten blank years. I think that's one of those really kind of interesting things across languages is how you say your age just the grammatical construction of that and obviously I have eaten blank number of years is itself kind of unique <laughs> and you know like from English to French obviously it's I am versus I have and I think that's fascinating I don't know I don't know how you became a nerd fighter since this is the first video I should probably back up and say that and clarify that we all came together as a result of Nerdfighteria. I will link the Vlogbrothers How to Be a Nerdfighter video because if you don't know what we're talking about then I, I mean I don't know how frequently we'll reference it but it's probably a useful like backstory to what is happening here in this place. In the beginning of 2009 a friend sent me a link to a video that explained rather eloquently and succinctly the Somali pirate situation. To me it exemplified a lot of what is great about the internet in terms of the kinds of people that you can find, the kinds of conversations that you can have. In terms of connecting like-minded people, geography itself can sometimes be limiting in ways that the internet is not. I got, I was really excited about it and I started watching videos and so on and so forth and now here we are. We decided to have random questions. Of the random questions that were put forth, this one was my favorite. My text message ringtone was a clip, like an audio clip from the second Pirates movie. Why is the rum always gone? And then you hear the like as he's kind of stumbling on the boat. Oh, that's why. Oh, I didn't answer the question, did I? <laughs> I guess I did, I mean, that's why. Jack Sparrow is always drinking it. On that note, 